There's a great saying, do it once, do it right. If more people in the building industry thought that way, this documentary wouldn't have to be made. I'm John Gray, and this is Roger Levy. In the midst of the leaky home crisis, we formed Hobans, an organisation where our combined knowledge and skills have helped hundreds of people sort out their leaky home disasters. All over the place. So you see the actual crack yeah. Yeah. Now, leaks in big apartment buildings have pointed to even greater problems. Well, they reckon it's got a few leaks and they want to modernise it. Structural, fire safety, earthquake risk, the list goes on and on. You can see the water's clearly got through there. Six and a half million. We've got nothing to show for it. And, alarmingly, apartment buildings with these defects are still being built today. When I drive around Auckland, I look at a lot of the developments that are going on and I wonder. There are so many questions about how this could happen. And this is a building that was built and got its compliance in 2003. Who's to blame? Devastated is probably a good word to use. And who will take responsibility? No, our position would be still no comment. They don't actually want the public to know what is actually going on. But perhaps our biggest mission is to look for solutions to put an end to the lack of transparency that seems to be at the heart of the problems. Because the problem doesn't go away. To me, this whole story is a lesson of frustration, avoidance and pain. So Roger, do you think this exercise in shooting this documentary has been a worthwhile one? It doesn't really feel like we've, we've found the solutions we've been looking for, John. I've been really disappointed that you know, a lot of the people that we've wanted to talk to are refusing to, or, you know, more importantly, are complete the denial of the problem. You know, our trip to MB was stifled by the fact that they won't put forward a spokesperson. So they keep on saying, we're not seeing it. Yes. And they're not seeing it because they won't damn well come out and have a look at it. I think one of the problems is the size of the, the issue, um, which is why people's eyes often glaze over when we go and talk to them to try and deal with it. So it takes my breath away that you know, we've got the Altera Apartments, for example, in Stonefields, built by arguably the best builder in New Zealand. And it was built in such a way that it wasn't fire compliant, so life safety risk, and it had leaky curtain walling on the complex. Mm. They've all gone to ground, but really it's a story to share. You know, we want to get it out there that clearly the system is still broken. You're right, you know, none of these people really could have done a lot more to protect themselves when they were purchasing into these Oh, properties. Right. You know, no one seems to care. I can safely say that every owner who bought into this building did what anybody else would deem to be good due diligence. And every single one of them has ended up with a massive, massive problem. I just feel so sorry for people that can't move on, but, you know. It's constantly on my mind. It's something that I think about almost every single day and worry about and all of those normal things. I would just love to think that the, this whole fiasco stopped and that other people don't get burned like we got burned. Personally, I would never ever buy an apartment or a unit again. Zealand on air.